A lot of ON30 modelers are looking for different kinds of short freight cars for their critter type locomotives and short lines. Let's see how we can convert some HO scale MDC roundhouse 3 in 1 kits. Hello YouTube, my name is Sammy. Stick around and see how we can do that and make some cool loads for them too, right here on Sammy's Workshops. <music> YouTube. My name is Sammy and welcome back to Sammy's Workshops. Back in the mid to late 1970s, model die casting roundhouse company started releasing their 3-in-1 series of kits. Actually these are a kit bash kits as they're full of all kinds of parts and as their literature describes they did so to avoid having to fill orders for replacement parts for people who wanted to kit bash anyway. Well, I found a couple of their early HO sets of three 30-foot flat cars and wondered, how would they look if I made them over into 15-foot ON30 cars? So I found a set on good old eBay and started by removing the cast-on hand grabs and stirrup steps. You also have to remove the endmost stake pocket so that there's enough room on the side for the grab irons uh, to fit. I drilled holes for replacement grab irons that I got from Titchy and used some stirrup steps from Grantline and the car really looks a lot better. Next I cut some good old wood coffee stir sticks to length and stained them as I have in previous videos. This time I used some Dr. Bombay sepia color for a more brownish look. You could use regular black India ink for a more gray weathered look. I wanted these cars to look like the decks were a little bit fresher. Add the brake wheel to one end and boom, now we have some nice looking cars. previous build of the 25 foot flat car with the pole load, I had some short lengths of pole left over from that build. Enough so for one load here. They're 4 inches long, which is 16 feet in um, O scale. So I stacked them up, set them on three lengths of some dunnage, and used some, this, some of the same chart pack tape for steel banding, and voila, a nice load held in place on the car with some uh, black thread uh, to simulate uh, cable tie downs. Next up was a load that I got from Banta Models. Now it's intended to make six stacks of cut lumber with all the steel banding, dunnage, and edge protectors needed to fill up a regular 25 foot Bachman flat car. For the 15 foot <clears throat> Excuse me, for the 15 foot cars we have here, a single stack two, two loads high will be sufficient. However, it is a bit light altogether. So I came up with a unique way to hide two flat wheel weights inside the load. You start with one regular layer of the flat banta wood, then you grab two of the spare ends, uh, those are some of the leftover bits. Um, on each end of the base piece and fill in in between them with strips cut to length. This creates a little well just big enough to stick two of those tire weights inside and then you cover it up with another full layer and then add three more unmodified layers and you've got the basic eight layer stack that the Banta kit normally would have you put in a stack. Uh, then you make another one with all the Banta parts and put it on top of it for a double stack and set it on top. This gives the shorty car a decent amount of weight and I think it will track much better. I made three sets of these double stacks, so now between those and the poles I have loads for four of the six cars that I converted. Yeah, I went out and got another three pack off of eBay. 
We'll revisit the other two here in the future to see what I did for loads for those ones. All in all, this was a very easy conversion to do. I painted the flat cars with a coat of barn wood red from Folk Art uh, for the car sides and the underneath. Uh, this is pretty close to what I have always known as the old railroad oxide red. I put in some KD number no. 5 couplers and the MDC trucks that came in the kit and voila, a nice set of cars ready for revenue service. Uh, I do see those kits pretty regular on eBay, usually in about the $22 to $35 range, depending upon who's selling them. And a lot of times they'll either have free shipping or just a few dollars to add them. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe and click on the alert bell to get notified of new videos being uploaded. New videos should be posted about every two weeks, usually on Wednesday, with some others in between as time and projects you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a website coming soon for patterns that I digitize and plans that I'll have to download. There is a Patreon account if you'd like to support the channel that way. If you'd rather not use Patreon, and some people are not big fans of it, there's a way to support the channel through PayPal. If I used anything that I got from Amazon, I'll have links to the tools and supplies there. So if you want to use them, you can get them. And the nice folks at Amazon provide a little bit back to the channel. That helps some too, and we thank them for that. Be sure to leave a comment or suggestion. I'd love to know what you'd like to see here or what you thought about this project. I did start this channel to answer questions and to provide pass on some of the things I've learned over the years. Thanks again for stopping by. Come again soon. Until next time, see ya.